Hello, welcome. This is an uh, industrial robot, AVB industrial robot. Small size, six axis robot. We have no battery right now, it's out of the battery. So, one of the problems that we have the ro robot with um, no battery, after we turn on the robot controller, yes, it can run, but it's not fully functional like when we say jogging here is say revolution counter are lost so linear or reorient cannot be select and cannot move so it shows some command that show as some error so this is the error found so what we have to do is press the acknowledgement so that is time for service for this robot as well one of the things that we have to do is to select calibration and select the robot that we're focusing on it and this is the name of the robot it say the revolution counter is not updated so it's six axis so we can select the advanced method and then update the revolution system but this robot is to confirm so that is six axis six revolution counter to update so one of the things that you have to do is you have to adjust the robot at the right position. So how do you know that it's the right position for that? If you look at the manual, you go around and see is robot manual. Um, you will see each axis has its own mark, own uh, point. This one is is to adjust robot at the center of it. So it has the sensor and it will try to recognize the center position of this robot so each axis that is the first axis uh, zero position so that is the first joint but however that is six axis so guess what there should be second joint so this is the mark of the second axis so you should rotate this link this is the link that you can rotate it as the right position so this one is at the center so the robot will try to adjust themselves if there are some uh, uncertainty they will have the, the robot error so the third axis is uh, uh, more difficult to look at it so the best way we go at the back of the robot so you see the spot right here so if you look close up inside this there is a center mark which should locate it um, between this so if you look at this it will be good enough to go and what about the fourth axis the fourth axis should be looked at the top so it's the mark right here so you should rotate the robot to have the center yes um, it should be line the center of this line at the center of this um, it should line that is the fourth axis that you can rotate this axis however the fifth axis this one um, this mark should be at the center of this marker so that is the fifth axis that's to rotate the wrist of the robot and however the last one that is also a mark right here so it's a little bit dark right here if we look close up enough uh, you have to see this one first this is a reflection when you look at this do you see I try to zoom in so there is a mark right here so it's a mark right here we have to zoom in you see some reflection over here that is a little bit wider marker and the center of the fifth axis 
is around here. You have to look and have this marker at the center of this marker. That is all the way that we already set the position of that one. So that we have to set the position so it's become the position like this. So then we are ready to confirm that revolution uh, revolution counter up there should be ready to go. It cannot be undone. If we fail it, we can recalibrate it later on. So when your battery is out, so it will say battery supervised supervision failure. So and we could not link the module card that is right here on the robot on the backboard of the robot so what you have to do is you have to calibrate each time when we start the robot or we can replace it so it take a few seconds to update off this one and this will say is update already so it can be fully functional we can jog it uh, and that can move the robot in all function so it's all set so if you look again at the robot jogging you can also see the function of the robot right here you can also see the position of the robot like when I click like this one I can also observe what is the current position right here uh, this is functional. You can change the format, position format. Like we here can change to Ula angle, which represent X, Y, Z, or we can change the mode. Like when we press this button, it will show each axis is around a zero position. So it's automatically adjust when it's on the marker. But however, if you not set position to the correct one, it will have a problem with um, with operation of robot and has some error. And position of the robot will be um, not good position precision.